the Division Four District Championship at Van Wert. I'm Jeff Overholzer along with Dave Bowen. Welcome, Dave, and we have one and two seeds that are going at it for this championship. Absolutely, Jeff. It's great to be your wingman tonight. District Championship action. One of these teams that's going to advance, they both want to fly into the Elida Regional any way they can. They are familiar with each other being conference foes. It's going to be a tremendous battle between the Lipstick Vikings and the Crestview Lady Knights. All right, let's take a look at the starting lineups. First of all, for Lip Sync, the 21 and three head coach is Brett Newell in his 10th season. They are the second seed in this district championship. Starters are number two, Morgan Apple, the junior. Number five, Ava Henry, a senior. Number seven, Olivia Jones, a senior. Number 12, Denicia Dancy, a sophomore. Number 13, Carmen Bruff, a sophomore. And number 21, Giselle Perez, a junior, and the libero for Lipsick, number 22, Samantha Hazelton, a senior. Now for the Crestview Knights, they're a number one seed, they're 22 and two, and under head coach, Tammy Gregory in her 18th season. Starters are number three, Callie Gregory, a senior. Number four, Casey Gregory, a freshman. Number five, Maya Etzler, a senior. Also number 12, Adeline Figley, a junior. Number 21, Haley McCoy, a junior. And number 23, Josie Kolwicki, a junior. And the libero is Ellie Klein. Some of the stats, I'm sure, jump right out at you. There are some key players on both sides. Absolutely. As you look at Lipsick, 21 and 3, 5 and 1 in the PCL, tied with Miller City for the conference championship. They were 7 and 1 in the Northwest Conference, finished runner up to the Crestview Lady Knight squad. Their three losses to Fairview, Crestview, Kaleida. It revolves around senior number seven, Olivia Jones, and sophomore number 12, Denacia Dancy. Both Northwest Conference first team selections and Brett Newell, the Division Four East Coach of the Year in District 8. For Crestview, again, that 22 and two record, eight and zero in the Northwest Conference. Losses to Coldwater, Division Three powerhouse this year, and Decatur Belmont, a team that reached the state tournament the last two years in Indiana great players on this team as well. Northwest Conference Player of the Year, Callie Gregory, and also joining her on the first team, Maya Etzler and Addie Bigley. That's the big three for Crestview. Their coach, Tammy Gregory, Northwest Conference Coach of the Year, District 8 West Coach of the Year, with Etzler and Gregory joining her on that District 8 squad, as does Jones and Danzi for Lipsick on the East District 8 squad. Great players out here. It's gonna be a Donnie Brook. I'm excited to see how it plays out, Jeff. Crestview, they have won six in a row. Coming in at Lipsick, they've won seven in a row, so something will give in this one. Our scoreboard sponsor is Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. That's our scoreboard and our spike sponsor is Lodix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. And you have the officials for this ball game. Yep, up on the ladder we have Paul Offenbacher on the floor at the net, Lindsey Tim. Our line judges are Don Bryan and Deb Shank. All right, the libero will serve first for lip sync, and that is Hazelton. I set. Spike back over and quickly on the hit is lip sync. Back over, nice. Spike and kill by Adlin Figley. Figley gets back to back spikes, gets the kill on the second one. The six foot junior, 248 kills on the season, second on this Crestview squad. Crestview is the home score and Visitor is lip sync, and that is a nice kill on the play by number 21, Giselle Perez. Nicely done right there. Gets one kill, deserves another, Jeff. And here we go. Like we said, it's going to be tight all night long. Let's see how it plays out. Well, lip sync with the serve. And back over on the free ball is Crestview. And then a 
hit back over is out of bounds. And we can tell you right now from our vantage point, the, the numbers for Lipsick are a little hard to read. I think that was number 12, Denicia Danzi, who hit it out of bounds for Lipsick. Two to one, Crestview. Casey Gregory behind the service line. Nice line drive serve, saved by Lipsink on a good play. Blocked at the net and got the kill. And that was a good kill on the play by number 15, Kennedy Kreider. Yeah, stuffed block. Uh, a little block of rodeo and cheese here early <laughs> on on the Crestview side of the net. Service over. Back over by Lipsink. Very, very good already by both sides. And again, the block and kill is by Giselle Perez. Nicely done right there. Again, whatever you can do, I can do better. Lipsick returns the favor as far as getting a point off the block. Now Lipsick will serve, and it will be number 21, Perez. And free ball back over, though, by Crestview, by Kreider. Quick set, tip back over, saved by the libero for Crestview back over on down the line. It is out of bounds on the hit by Callie Gregory. Yeah, she tried to go down the line. A lot of times she'll go cross court, but the block was positioned to take that away. She tried to adjust, but was unable to keep the ball in bounds. Danzi with the serve as they continue for lip sync. Ball tipped over by Crestview. Back over is the left-handed hit by Perez. This time a block on the play, I think by Callie Gregory. No, I believe that was Maya Etzler. She Maya got up Etzler, there, okay. yes. Number five, Maya Etzler, the 6'2 senior. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> 70 blocks on the season. Leads this Crestview squad. And Etzler's going to go back and serve coming off of that block. Etzler with that serve. A nice dig. And then now hit back over by Lip Sync. And two players come together, and they can't get it to go back over. So that will be a point for Crestview. Crestview goes down the net right there on that, that last shot. That's a play that Callie Gregory loves to execute. Find that hole close to the net, cross court. Lipsick unable to come up with it. Serving it over is Etzler. And then a free ball back over by Lipsick. Then a hard hit that time by Callie Gregory. Callie Gregory, she leads Crestview in the kill category with 269. The 5'10 senior gets a point right there. Crestview extends the lead to three points at 6-3. Etzler maintains the serve. And our spike sponsor is Lottox Jewelry. Proud to support high school sports. This one is a kill on the play by number seven, Olivia Jones. Olivia Jones, she's second on this Lipsick squad with 280 kills. The senior, first team Northwest Conference selection, shows her power right there, Jeff. Jaden Cup will serve now for Lipsync. gets it over, set at the net. This time it's blocked on the hit by Gregory, but out of bounds on the opposite side. So that'll be a point crest view. Lipsick put the wall up, but Gregory just too much power on that kill. It goes off the block hard, helplessly going out of bounds. Crestview with the point. Seven to four, Crestview with the lead here in set number one. Josie Kawicki now serving for the Lady Knights. The champion will be moving on to the Elida Regional. Crestview, this time, it's almost like she moved from one end to the other. Gregory again with a kill and point. And another way that Crestview executes very nicely right there is Ellie Klein and Libero with the bump set. Does it so effectively. Lipsick's going to take a timeout here, 8-4. to four. Coach Newell wants to give some encouragement to his team. We'll take a break as well. You're watching Division Four District Championship Volleyball on WOSM. Along with Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Overholzer. You, you surprised with that uh, timeout by Lipsick? Uh, yes and no. I guess Coach Newell must have noticed something he wanted to correct with the squad. I know he's down four. I, I know he knows Crestview has a potent offense, you know, that transition from defense to offense. But his squad's playing pretty tough right now. And uh, Crestview's earning the points. Lipsick's not giving free passes, that's for sure. 
Bump pass by Hazelton and back over by Lipsick. Back over this time, finding the back and kill by Adlin Figley. Figley, like we said, the big three for Crestview at the spike line, Gregory, Figley, and Etzler. They've all been involved here early in set number one. Crestview with the lead. Now coming back is Lipsick. And then now set and blocked at the net again. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's just been potent with Callie Gregory. Callie Gregory, Haley McCoy right there as well. I really like the set that uh, Macy and Danzi threw the up there to her teammate, but Cressy was able to come away with the block. This time a hard spike and kill by Olivia Jones. Yeah, Jones took advantage of the opportunity right there. Crestview did get the block up. Back line couldn't dig it out. Great spike for Jones. 10-5 the score, Crestview. Now lip sync. They will set it up and finally tipped over, but it will be a point. Olivia Jones. Haley McCoy, Haley McCoy too close to the fabric, she gets in the net, trying to block that hit by the Vikings. No, that was a quick tip by Callie Gregory that found that one corner. Great setters do that so effectively. You get into that rhythm of bump, set, spike, and then every now and then, Gregory will go over on two and then catches the defense off guard, does so right there. Blocked at the net by McCoy. Yeah, Haley McCoy, the sophomore for Crestview, plays her role to perfection, comes in into the middle, does a nice job right there with the block. Well, have to free ball it back over and two by Henry for Lipsick. Now back again. This one's hit into the net by Olivia Jones. Yeah, Cameron Bruff had a back pedal on that set. Couldn't get it up towards the net where she would like to. Jones unable to execute that as a result. Nice serve, but right back over and in the line. Wow, Callie, Callie Gregory. Gregory. Yeah, again, I, the great setters, as I said, they can understand the, the flow of the game. And then I think they have four eyes at times. They're looking at the <laughs> ball, they're looking at the defense, and they're finding the open area. Callie Gregory does it right there. Well, Hazelton tried to get it for Lipsick, but could not. We have a timeout, 14 to six. It's Crestview leading here in set number one, back with more District Championship Volleyball on WOSN. Crestview with the 14 to six lead here in game number one, already a second time out. Yeah, Coach Newell, again, trying to stem the tide. All the momentum on Crestview's side of the net right now. Lipsync gets it over very nicely, and coming right back with the slam is Adlin Figley. Yeah, again, the big three for Crestview, Figley and Gregory and Etzler. They all do it in different ways. Figley, more of a power hitter. Uh, she gets her timing down, and her footwork is correct. It is uh, a ball with a lot of velocity behind it. Of course, the spike sponsor is Lodix Jewelry. Hit back over is by Figley. Set in the middle, and a good set and kill. That was for Olivia Jones. Yeah, nice job out of the middle for Olivia Jones. She's dangerous right there, and she makes Crestview pay. Great execution by the Vikings on that particular play. And she's right back to serve. Good serve, and then free ball back over by Crestview. Let's see if Lipsick can take advantage of it. This one's hit long out of bounds by Denicia Dancy. So they had an opportunity right there. Coach Newell talking to Dancy right now. Got to fight their way back into this set. Klein Libero with the serve, and then this is a hard spike and a kill, which is good for Denicia Dancy. She is just a sophomore. 
That actually went off of Callie Gregory, and you don't see that very often. 16 to eight, quick set, and it goes. Goes out of bounds, but it was touched. touched. Yes. Yeah, Jeff is touched. I was waiting to see uh -huh. if that was the si uh -huh. situation. Don Bryan, the line judge, on the call right away. Maya Epsler with the kill out of the middle. Service over. The set is by Bruff. Blocked at the net on the spike by Denicia Dancy. And then right back over is by Maya Etzler. Yeah, missed block a lot. Maya Etzler, she gets both of those blocks. The wall put up there personally by Etzler. The first one, Lipsick recovers from. The second one, they don't. Point, Crestview. Yeah, and guess who's back to serve? Miss Figley. <laughs> And that was just out of bounds. So it just seems like the person that does the job <laughs> goes back and serves almost. Back to serve is Jalen Seifert, the freshman. I mean, they have a lot of underclassmen on this Lipsick team. This one is hit back over and in by Etzler. Yeah. Crestview executes that short set. Gregory and Etzler on the same page with that. They get the, the swing action and the kill attempt before Lipsick's able to get a block up. Point for the Lady Knights. This one is on a block but saved by Crestview. And tipping it over, but it will be going underneath the net or carry. They're going to call it on Callie Gregory. Nice hit there on, on the uh, backside for Lipsick by Jones that ends up getting them the point. Danzy with the serve for the Vikings and the spike and kill by Callie Gregory and the spike sponsor is Lodix Jewelry. Callie Gregory just so uh, versatile. She leads Crestview in kills. She leads Crestview in assists. She's got power. She's got finesse. And we've seen both on display here early in set number one. Service over by Etzler. And they're going to call a double hit on Lipsick. Scoreboard is Structure Outdoor Ohio. It's 21 to 10. Crestview with the lead here in set number one for the district championship here at Van Wert. And now Lipsick will free ball it over by Jones. Quick set. And the spike. And kill off the block again by Callie Gregory. Yeah, tough situation for Lipsick right there. Both of these teams are going to take advantage of it if you free ball it over. Crestview does right there. And they were able to be in rhythm and get it to the hammer. Callie Gregory, no need to look in your tool chest for that particular piece of equipment. It's out there on the floor on full display through Gregory's arm. That's over the serve for Crestview. Back over by Lipsick. Now Gregory off the double block and will score again. That's her ninth, unofficially her ninth kill of this first set. Yeah, nicely done. Great transition from defense to offense for Crestview. Continuing to serve is Etzler. This one is right close to the net, back over by Crestview. And now free balling it over is Jones. And this one is going to be a legal hit or a double hit on Crestview, setting it toward the net. That will give the point to Lipsick. Emily Lickley, the junior, she fills that setter role when Crestview puts Callie Gregory out on the edge. She's done that very, very well this year. Called for the double hit right there. She'll recover. Served by Cup, and that's into the net, and that gives the point back to Crestview. This is set point. Set point here in set number one. 24 to 11 on the structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Josie Kowicki in serving. She has the highest percentage from the serving line for Crestview at 97%. That one nice play by Lipsync to find the back line. And that was by Morgan Apple. Yes, nicely done by Morgan Apple. Put it where Crestview wasn't able to 
get a play on it. Ellie Klein gave some effort, but unable to come up with it. Nicely done at, by Apple. This time, return is there, and that completes set number one. 25 to 12. Crestview with the win for Lipsick in set number one on the Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. We'll come back with set number two in this district championship here at Van Wert. Coming up next on WOSN. Here at Van Wert, tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. The Structure Outdoor Ohio, bring your outdoors out. Anything that stuck out for you in that first set? Well, Crestview just came out in a workmanlike fashion and took it to the Vikings. We know Coach Newell took those two timeouts early. It was a good call. Couldn't quite get his uh, girls back on track, but you talk about structure, structure of the game of volleyball, set two, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. It's right. not like you're coming back out after halftime down 10, 12 points, 14 points. It's 0-0, zero, zero. and that is what makes this game so exciting in a lot of ways. Coach Newell can talk to his girls about, hey, let's learn from that set, but let's put it behind us. Don't carry that back out with you on the court. Let's get locked in, and let's play our game, and let's attack these Lady Knights. Yeah, the only problem is uh, Crestview won the first set 25-12. You want to see how Lipsick comes out in the second set, because if they come out with some, some uh, grit and everything that they have, then it may be a different situation. If they don't, then it could be all... Crestview on that side. So we're looking at both sides and both very, very good teams. Yeah, absolutely. You don't win 21 matches during the course of the season without facing adversity and overcoming it. That's what Lipsick's faced with right now. You know, the final Ohio High School Volleyball Coaches Association polls, Crestview ranked number five, Lipsick ranked number eight. I don't think there's that much disparity between mm. five and eight. So I'm excited to see if Lipsick can re regroup, recover, reload and attack these Crestview Lady Knights in set number two. Yeah, and I think really uh, Giselle Perez, the junior, who is a left-hander, has some power right in the middle of where Lip Sync has right at the net. So we'll see how that works to start the second set. Checking the lineup card right now for Lip Sync is Lindsey Tim, the down official, talking to Coach Newell. Lipsick got here by beating Patrick Henry, three um, sets to zero. Then they defeated Miller City in the district semifinal, three to one. Crestview in the sectional final defeated Pandora Gilboa, three sets to zero. And then defeated the Kaleida Wildcats, three sets to zero in the district semifinal a couple nights ago. And that's how both of these teams got to this district championship. Yeah, you're match. looking at two teams that have only lost one set and there are two matches coming into this one. Well, we're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at the app, which is .wosn.tv, also available on Roku and Apple TV. We, we do have our cameraman, Jacob O'Neill. He's also going to be our editor for this. He will make us sound good. Very good, yes. I see he's going to make us look good, but he does a great <laughs> job of not putting us on camera. But he'll make, <laughs> he'll make these teams look really, really good here. So we're going to have a substitution right away here for Lipsync before we get set number two started. Yeah, we have number two. Uh, let's see, number 22, the libero, Samantha Hazelton, who is in. And also number 13, Carmen Bruff for Lipsick. And then also the libero comes in for Crestview, which is Ellie Klein. And she's going to start by serving for the Lady Knights. So we got the paperwork to match up with everything that's out there on the floor. Let's get set two started. Here we go, the set two is underway with a successful set. That time with some elevation and thunder, that's Denicia Dancy. Thunder, the right word there, Jeff. Great start for Lipsick. When you 
lose a set like they did. You want to start that next set and get momentum on your side right away. Looks like Lipsick has taken the first step in that direction. See if they can continue to roll here. Etzler with a tip over and blocked at the net is Etzler on the spike by Perez. Yeah, nicely done. Maya Etzler has been a weapon of huge proportions from the middle for Crestview. It's all on display right there. Structure scoreboard, 1-1 one, one early here in set number two. Crestview already up one set to none. Nice save toward the back line for Crestview and then tip back over quickly. And then Lipsick will get the point. Yeah, Crestview was in the net. I love how Lipsick, they're going to, their go-to uh, player in Denacia Danzi, the oh. sophomore. That's the best way. You got to go to your strengths if you're struggling a little bit coming out of that first set. That's what Lipsick's doing right now. And she serves, and then it's hit right back in front of Dancy. So now Crestview with a 2-1 lead. Lickley checks in for yep. Crestview. And Casey Gregory serving. Set at the net by Bruff, and a quick spike and kill is by Jones. Nicely done again by Lipsick. Good pass up to Bruff, and she sets her weapons. Jones takes advantage of the opportunity. Working that left outside hitter position right now is Lipsick. Morgan Apple is back to serve for the Vikings. As you can see on the screen, Vikings are, well that's a good hit by Gregory. They are actually kind of in their black, but they're more Viking purple and gold. And of course, Crestview, red, white, and blue. Callie Gregory goes eight ball corner pocket right there to tie things up at three. First one to five, critical right here for Lipsick again, coming off of that set one loss. See if they can beat the Knights to five and then go from there. Dig and quick hit back over by McCoy of Crestview. Gregory and finds the left side of Morgan Apple and finds the court. Yeah, Apple was leading to her right because all Callie Gregory has been doing is slamming it to that deep opposite corner and then Gregory takes a little bit off of it and catches Apple, as we said, leading the other way, gets the point. Bruff sets up and quick hit back over by Jones and the return goes off of the libero, Samantha Hazelton. Another point for Crestview. Both teams up around the net on that particular play. Crestview able to get a one-arm banded on it and kick it across. Lipsick does the same, but the ball goes deep. Dig by the libero, which is Hazelton. This one off the double block. Nice play by Ava Henry. Yeah, excellent play by uh, Henry right there. And back to serve will be Carmen Bruff, the sophomore. We're talking freshman and sophomore on this district team for Lipsick. This one is hit, but goes off of the libero. Hazelton, another point for Crestview. Yeah. Both teams have a limited number of seniors. Lipsick with four, Crestview with two. It's just a situation where those seniors uh, have a lot of statistics, a lot of numbers behind their names uh, for both squads. All right, Crestview will serve, leading six to four here in set two, already up one nothing. Double block and good diving attempt though. I'll tell you, that was great, great attempt by Denicia Dancy. You cannot flaunt the effort, effort of these Lipsick Lady Vikings. They're giving it everything they have, getting some floor birds right now. Set and off the block is good. I believe that's number two right there. Morgan Apple with the kill out of the middle. Does a nice job finding a way to blast it through that block put up there by Crestview. Jones back to serve for the Vikings and tipped over quickly by Gregory. Nice diving attempt. Can they keep it going? No, they can't. But again, you like the hustle of the way Lipsync is doing in this matchup. Outstanding effort there. Samantha Hazelton 
went all out on that second hit to try and give her team an opportunity to get that ball across the net. Unable to come away with it, though. Rough. And the spike back over by Dan's, by uh, Danzy. Go right back to her, yep. This time she'll hit it short. Gregory with the pass in the middle. Nice block. That is by Apple again. Excellent block. Just what the doctor ordered if you're a Lip Lipstick Viking fan. Show some tenacity at the net. Protect your back line. Cuts the lead to two. Hazelton will serve for Lipsick. And what do we have? A a double ball. hit. Yep, double hit on Callie Gregory. That ball was up by the net. Gregory typically can save that with her athleticism. That time just not able to pull it off. You don't see her double hit the ball very often. This one is hit back over by Gregory. Nice save by Lipsick. That's a hard spike. And although Crestview plays it out of the net, great dig by the libero, Ellie Klein. Danzi hits it over, then quickly back over by Crestview. Back to Danzi again, off the double block. Crestview keeps it alive. Klein, the libero, sets up, and it's Gregory again. Yeah, both of, great yeah, volley. Great volley, and both of these teams, they're in sync with each other, but that was a perfect display right there. When that ball was coming down to Ellie Klein, Gregory was setting herself up behind the 10-foot line because she knew that her teammate was going to bump set it to her, and then she took advantage of the opportunity. Gets the point for the Lady Knights. Nice return by Denicia Danzi. Yep, Danzi with the wham right there. The wham and the slam. Yes, wham and slam. Again, she leads Lipsick in the kill category. 374 coming into tonight's contest. Seifer with the serve for the Vikings. Tipped over by Crestview and coming right back. Lip sync on the quick hit. Now the return, this one's into the net by Figley. Figley didn't quite have her footwork the way she wanted it, and as a result, ball doesn't get above the tape. And Lip sync ties this thing up at nine, playing much better here in set two. Mm-hmm. That's a hard spike, but saved by Seifer. And then free ball back over by the Vikings. Quick tip back over by Etzler. Hazelton in the right spot. They're going to call a double hit on the Lipsick Vikings. So I'll give the point, and that will break the tie momentarily. 10-9 Crestview here in set two. On the structure, outdoor Ohio scoreboard. That serve will be an ace. That's her first one of the night. Addie Figley with the ace. She is tied for first place on this Crestview squad with Callie Gregory. They both had 35 aces coming in to this contest. Another serve this time. Coming back as Danzy. Good dig that time. Back line by Figley. And then the block by Number 21, Perez went out of bounds. Yeah, nice job getting in position for the block. Perez has just got to turn it in instead of having it go off her arms that fall out of bounds. Great effort. Good save for the Vikings. A free ball back over by Hazelton, the libero. Quick short set. Etzler, nice save again by Hazelton of the Vikings, and this time she can't save it, but boy, what a great effort. Outstanding effort by double deuces out there, Samantha Hazelton. She gets the one that was really the more difficult play back to her team, and then the next one, yeah, she had to move for it, but it went off of her arms and went deep, unfortunately. Serve over, and Seifert returns, but it goes out of bounds, so now, yeah, Coach Newell, Coach Newell, he needs to be thinking about a timeout now. It was tied at nines. Crestview on a 5-0 run here. Serve is over, and the return on the short hit by Perez. Tipped over and in by Maya Etzler. Coach Newell standing up. Yep, he's going to take the timeout mm -hmm. right now as Maya Etzler goes with the changeup. Puts it in the middle of that defensive circle. Lipsick unable to come up with it. Crestview with a six-point lead. 
Time, the uh, score is 15 to nine on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Second set, we'll return with more from Van Wert on championship night on WOSN. The Spike sponsor is Lodix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Great timeout right there by Coach Newell. Needed to do it to try and stem the momentum that Crestview has established here in set number two. Let's see how it plays out, Jeff. Service over, tipped at the net by Danzy, and then back over by Lipson quickly. Toward the back line. Return by Crestview. Danzy back and her opposite number, Figley, gets it. And then back over, but into the net. And right now, Lipstick's got to be a little frustrated. They're making some great plays, but Crestview's just covering so well right now, Jeff. Nothing is hitting the floor on the night side of the net. Until Danzy. right there. Yeah. There you get the Thunder spike by Denicia Danzy, the sophomore. Yeah. They've come out of that timeout, and they've gone to her exclusively, and she made Crestview pay right there. 16-10 Crestview. This time, Danzy dives for it, but could not come up with it. Just a tough position to be in. She's setting up for a power uh, swing by Crestview, so she's a little deeper, and then there's the hole in front of her, and Crestview went soft and found it. Serves over. A great play <laughs> by Danzy. That was... She was had her back to the net and got it back over and a great play and it helped lip sync with the point. Absolutely great effort. You never know what's gonna happen. She gets it over on two. It was a free ball for Crestview, but my Etzler, she tried to go soft serve ice cream, just tap it over the net. Not enough juice, doesn't make it. Looks like Crestview, it's a rotation there. So that will give a point back to Lipsick. 17 to 12 on the structure scoreboard. A Bowen, Jeff Overholzer here at Van Wert. And the return is by Callie Gregory. Another kill by Gregory. This is for the district championship and the right to move on to the Elida Regional to the Sweet 16, so to speak, for the first round. District championships, always a great reward for teams and their local communities. Good set that time by Carmen Bruff and the kill by Olivia Jones. I really like the arm whip from Jones right there. Hit it hard, Crestview unable to dig that one out. Maybe that'll be a spark that Lipson can use to get back into this second set. Bruff with the serve. This one's hit long out of bounds by Kreider, that makes it 18-14. Little run here by Lipsick, see if they can keep momentum building on their side of the net. Gregory finds the middle of the back row. Callie Gregory uh, says, okay, here's your momentum. We're gonna get it back with us right now. It extends the lead to five. Callie Gregory, again, just an outstanding player, has received several postseason accolades already, and rightly so. That one will be an ace by Cole Wicke. As we said, she leads Crestview serving percentage 97%, and she does have 27 aces, make that 28 now on the season. Going back is Dancy to put it over, and she comes right back to save it. In the middle for Jones, and Jones with a kill. Yeah, nicely done right there by Olivia Jones. When Lipsy could have that, that set coming out of the middle, just gives them a lot of opportunities to go left or right, and she picks the right direction as the kill gives Lipsy a point. And that will be, oh, it will be an ace. We'll just call it an ace, because they really didn't take care of it, and that yep. was Jones. Yep, Jones with the ace. 
She is the leading server for Lipsick percentage-wise at 97% as well. 40 aces on the year. Lipsick will have to free ball it over and good play again. Nicely by done. Danzis. Yes. And then a short hit is in and good by Figley. Yeah, Figley says, I'm going to hit one hard and send you to the back of the gym. And then you're going to get it over, and I'm just going to tap one and make you pay because you're not back from the other side of the reservation yet. Yeah. Huh. Buff with a pass. Blocked at the net. Dancy, and now free balling it over is Lipsick. A bump pass, and the slam is there, and good on the spike by Figley. Our spike sponsor is Lodix Jewelry. Lipsick's been able to get a hand on a lot of spikes at the net, but they haven't been able to get the full block or slow it down enough to, to where their teammates can dig it out from behind. Now a double hit on Lipsick. Makes it 23 to 16 on the structure scoreboard. We have a timeout. Coach Adul going to take that second timeout of the, of the set. He was down 9-15 when he took the first one. Crept up a little bit. Had a little bit of a run there, but now Crestview again has extended it back out to a seven-point advantage. All right, we'll have more championship volleyball next on West Ohio Sports Network, WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your outdoors in. Crestview up by seven here in set number two. Yeah, again, we're seeing a lot of the top players of the Northwest Conference out there this evening. We mentioned Olivia Jones and the Macy and Nancy first team selections. Carmen Gruff, the setter, she was a second team all conference selection. And for Crestview, joining Gregory, Etzler, and Figley on the first team are Klein and Casey Gregory as honorable mention selections. Nice save that time by Hazelton. The libero coming right back and getting it in. Nice hit by Denicia Danzi. Yeah, it seems like after every break, either between sets or during timeouts, the focus for Lipsick is let's get the Macy of the ball because mm -hmm. she is doing good things when she has the opportunity to swing hard on it. Hazelton, the libero with the serve, coming right back. Lipsick puts it right back over by Perez and get it right back. Dancy toward the back line. Nice diving save for Crestview. And the spike by Figley. And this one's tipped right into the net short by Danzi. I think that she thought she had it, but a little too short on the hit. Yeah, she did the right thing, though. Played it as though it had been blocked. Maybe you might be able to fool the officials a little bit, but our officiating crews had a great night thus far. They were Johnny on the spot on that one. Four hits on Lipstick's side of the net. Set point. Danzi comes right back for Lipstick, then right back over quickly by Crestview, and this time, Perez tries to hit it back over at the left hand and is blocked at the net by Maya Etzler. Again. So the final is 25-17. Crestview with the second set victory. We'll come back with set number three here at Van Wert on District Championship Night on WOSN. Tonight's spike sponsor is Lodix Jewelry. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert. or online at Lodix.com. We want to thank all of the sponsors to make it possible for us to be here and bring you coverage here on WOSN. Absolutely. We can't do that without the support of our sponsors. And our viewers, if you go visit uh, the establishment of business that uh, sponsors us, let them know. You saw their ad on WOSN. All right, now what do you expect out of this? Because saw a little more fire out of Lipsick in that second set. Yeah, especially early on. They were right there at the beginning of the set. It was tied at nine apiece. And then Crestview just dominated from that point forward in set number two. Coach Noel's just going to tell his players, hey, we, we got to keep digging. We got to put a full set together like we are capable of. 
He's not asking his charges to do anything they're not capable of, but they've got to execute what they know how to do and be fundamentally sound in order to put themselves in a position to be there at the end of the set. All right, Lipsick will be serving here in set number three. Crestview up two sets to one, two, two sets to none, 25-12 and 25-17, the first two sets. So we're in set three. Service com complete by Hazelton. The return back by Crestview by Figley. The return this long this is too long, out of bounds by Danzy. Just hits that one long, got under it a little bit, wasn't on top of the ball, and it sailed on her. Crestview with the first point of the third set. And a successful serve. Set in the middle is for Perez. She gets a block, but tipped back over by Etzler. But saved by Lipsink, and they will free ball it back over, and right there is Etzler again. Hazelton with a great save for Lipsink. All six players up by the 10-foot line. But as Lipsy got the ball over Maya Etzler, she plays much taller than 6'2", and that's not favorable for any opponent. Lipsy had to deal with it right there. Now free balling it over is Hazelton, the libero. Well, setting is the libero, Klein, and that spike and kill is by Kreider. Yeah, Kennedy Kreider on the right outside hitter position takes advantage of the set and puts it where they ain't. Jeff and Crestview gets off to a good start here. Lipsick's going to have to dig in right now. Bigley with the serve. Perez with the bump pass. And Danzi has a double block tipped back over quickly by the Vikings. And that was by Henry. And then the return is toward the back line and evades Hazelton, the libero, and a point again for Crestview. Yeah, Callie Gregory, you've got to prepare for her to show you the arm swing and hit the ball, spike it. Well, she goes with the two-handed push and directs it to that corner. Hazelton gets a hand on it, but unable to pull it in. Tipped over quickly by Henry, and the return is hit long out of bounds by the opposite five of Maya Etzler of Crestview. Yeah, nice shoot opportunity right there for Crestview as Gregory shoots it to Etzler, but again, she was not at the height of her jump and she made it say along as well. Lipsick does a good job of getting the point. Safe her with the serve for Lipsick, and this one's hit long and wide out of bounds by Kreider. So point for Lipsick. Fight their way back into this, down four to two. Casey Gregory on the hit and blocked right back behind Danzi, who thought it was going to go out of bounds. Maya Etzler and Kennedy Kreider at the net, putting up that wall. They do a nice job. It's hard to bring Danzi's spike back into the court. They do so right there. Nice tip back over by Bruff of Lipsick. And then tipped right back over by Crestview, Callie Gregory. And really kind of with the hit attempt that time, a little mistimed by Etzler. Yeah, and what happened right there is Emily Lickley's in the game now. She's the setter. And she and Etzler, yeah, they played together this year. But my Etzler and Callie Gregory have played together since seventh grade. Not quite on the same page were Lickley and Etzler on that particular attempt. This time, Perez with... The block kill on Callie Gregory. Yeah, great block by Perez. You know, Olivia Jones and Jane Cup, they lead Lipsick in the block category, but Perez has made her presence known this evening. Well, that serve is long and out of bounds by Danzi. Makes it six to four, Crestview here in set number three. Again, Crestview up two sets to none currently. We're in set three. Etzler with the long with the serve that goes into the net. So that makes it 6-5. Yeah, getting back to that block by Perez, stat-wise, it shows that she only has nine blocks on the season. I believe right. she's had at least three tonight. Yeah. So I, maybe I question that a little bit. <laughs> she's yeah. been very effective in that position. And that one will be a double hit on Lickley. 
So now the score is six to six here in set three. Lipsick has fought back nicely after being down early in the set. They've just got to maintain this intensity throughout the entire set. Gregory over and now Lipsick back over by Seifert. Gregory again, this one is hit long out of bounds. Now Lipsick with a seven to six lead here in set three. So a little pressure put on Crespio as Lipsick does a nice job of coming back and now they have momentum on their side. Let's see if they can ride it for a while. Gregory tips it over, nice save by Seifer. And Jones off the block with another spike and kill. That went off of Kreider. Olivia Jones does what you want your senior to do in that situation. She gets the kill, Crestview's gonna take the timeout. All right, Lipsick up by a score of eight to six here in set number three. Back with more District Championship Volleyball from Van Wert on WOSN. TV 44 and WOSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate Here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW.com. Coach Tammy Gregory takes her first time out of the match there, down two to this Viking squad. They're not gonna go away quietly. Crestview's gonna have to earn it. Jones after the set by Bruff. Now Crestview comes right back on a nice hit. Now Jones tips it back over. Nice save by Kreider. Tip at the net and tipped over by Gregory. So Crestview gets the point coming out of the timeout. Such a huge, huge piece. When you take a timeout, you want to establish or reestablish momentum on your side. Crestview does so a little bit right there, getting that first point. As you said, Coach Tammy Gregory, 18th year, picked up her 300th win this season. She knows what she's doing out mm -hmm. there a little bit, Jeff. Josie Kawaki with the serve. And coming right back, the Vikings on the spike. And right there is Adeline Figley with a kill for Crestview. Knots this set back up at eight apiece. On the Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts scoreboard. We're tied here in set three. And that's going to be an ace. So now I think Coach Newell's got to think about a timeout, a 3-0 run right here. He hasn't used any thus far in set number three. He's going to let it ride right now, see if his team can fight their way through this adversity. Hawaki on the serve. And this one's hit into the net by Apple. So Kawiki will continue to serve for Crestview. Now it's a 10 to eight advantage. It's a 4-0 run now for Crestview. Coming out of the timeout, very imp impressive for the Lady Knights. Jones. Crestview will try to free ball it over and they do by Pigley. Nicely and then done. Saved by Hazelton. Yep. Jones comes right back. Tip back over by Gregory of Crestview. Jones again from the center, and that is out of bounds. Tough decision there, Hazelton, on that free ball. Might have been out of bounds, but it was close to the line. And again, in this type of uh, contest, and you're, you're trying to fight your way back after coming back behind a little bit, you got to go for it. She, she did. Unfortunately, they didn't come away with the point, though. This one's hit into the net by Apple. So now it is 12 to 8. And you're looking at a 6 0 run. And Lipsick will call timeout for Brent Newell. Crestview with the four point advantage here in set number three. We're at Van Wert for the district championship in Ohio Volleyball. Back with more on WOSN. Here at Van Wert, to tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. You know, Jeff Lipsick, they had that 8-6 to six lead. Crestview takes a timeout. It's a 6-0 run. Um, 
they they sort of maybe woke the, the sleeping giant a little bit right there. Coach Gregory uh, probably uh, gave her squad a little bit of encouragement in that time. I'll put that in parentheses, and they have responded. <laughs> Ball's blocked at the net, saved by Carmen Bruff. And then Bruff will actually hit it back over for Lipsync. This one's hit long out of bounds by Figley. So, as we said earlier, you want to get that point coming out of a timeout that you call. Lipsync does that right there. See if they can build off of it and cut into this deficit. Bruff, the sophomore, will serve. Goes to Figley, is blocked at the net. Gregory back to Figley, and she'll free ball it over the net. Hazelton goes to Apple, and Apple hits it into the net. 13 to nine. Crestview, the Knights back to serve. It'll be Callie Gregory. That one's tipped toward the net. Brought thought about getting it, but it was tipped right there for Crestview. Always a tough situation when that ball's coming to the net as a setter. Do you try and bring it back or bump it over? Tough situation right there for the Lady Vikings. Jones back over, pretty much on the free ball. Gregory, the back set this time. And that was to Casey Gregory, who hit it into the net. So now, Lipsick will be back to serve, and that will be Olivia Jones. Crestview with a hit by Casey Gregory, but into the net. You may have said it may have hit the antenna, but would call it out. Yep, back-to-back -back hitting airs for Crestview. Casey Gregory, the freshman, has got to dig out of that. A little bit of a rut. The hit is back over by Crestview. Good play by Figley. Back over quickly by Lipsync. Figley tips it over and returned by Apple. This one's hit down the line. They say in by Figley. Yeah, dynamite down the line. Addie Figley, she's been going cross court consistently. The block was set up to take that away, so she takes the line, puts it right on it down in that corner. Nice hit by Addie Figley. And the spike sponsor is Lodix Jewelry, and that is a definite spike. Jones, great spike from the back row, but Crestview's able to dig it out. That went off of Bruff. Good play by Etzler. So now Ellie Klein, the libero serves. Right now, Callie Gregory is a setter, just using all of her weapons. Who's she going to go with this time? Goes to Etzler again. Hits it where they ain't. There, finds the hardwood in the back corner. My Etzler, you don't have to hit it hard when you can aim it and put it where you want and place it. Does so effectively right there. 17 to 11 on the structure scoreboard. Nice dig by Hazelton toward the back line. And now they're going to say the ball went out of bounds on the hit by Ava Henry. She was kind of kind of cornered toward the antenna, and they said it was out on the outside of the antenna. Wrong side of the candy cane. Klein will continue to serve. Danzy, she got the dig and then got the return pass and slammed it home for the Lodix Jewelry Spike. Slam is the operative word right there, Jeff. Nobody was going to get that one. Danzy, a lot of power behind that spike. Give her the kill. Hazelton, the libero serves for Lipsick. And then this one's hit short into the net by Adeline Figley. 18-13. Now the score, the Vikings starting to chip away at the Crestview Knights. Now they have that same thing again, the rotation situation for Crestview, and that'll be a point. Coach Gregory talking to the official, Lindsey Tim, and then now relaying that information to her squad, not complaining at all, just wanting to know what isn't occurring the way it should and wanting to get it corrected. Served down the line successfully by Hazelton. Now apparently a double hit on Crestview. So there's some 
situations here. Maya Etzler apparently with a double hit. Yeah, Crestview hasn't been as clean coming out of this last time out taken by Lipsick. They got to clean things up. Lipsick taking advantage of the opportunity, getting some points on the board, having a little run here. Good spike by Danzy. Coming right back, the opposite 12, which is Figley for Crestview. Tipped inside. Perez with a nice tip. And then now they're going to call double hit or carry on Crestview. Ellie Klein had to go far to her left to bring that one back in. Callie Gregory lifts it, and that's what the call is. Cuts the lead to two. Back over is Casey Gregory. Perez with a nice set. And Danzi back over. And Figley back over by Crestview. Jones gets it back over for Lipsick. And then this time, a solid spike off of Jones. Addie Figley hits that one. You can hear it all the way up here. That was a good volley. Again, coming out of that last time out, Crestview's, you know, they've had to clean some things up. I've been very impressed with Lipsick's defense, doing a nice job. Good movement. Yeah, they're going to call in the uh, lift on Lipsick. So that will be a point for Figley. Carmen Broff with the lift, similar to what was just called on Callie Gregory. And this serve is into the net by Figley. So now 20 to 17. Crestview's lead is three here in set three. The Knights up two sets to none. The lip sync would like to change that. Seifer with the serve. Quick spike and killed by Maya Etzler. Again, Gregory and Etzler on the same page. They played a lot of volleyball together. The short set, Etzler gets up in the air and hits it hard before the block can form for Lipsick. Puts that back row defensive player at a complete disadvantage. Good save by the libero, Hazelton, but Blast through the block, does Lipsick right there. I so, believe that was Olivia Jones, wasn't it? Or no, no, that's Danzy. Yeah, Danzy with the serve out of bounds after Lipsick got the point. 22-18. Etzler back to serve, jump serve is successful. And then Perez with the left hand comes right back for Lipsick. Gregory back over. Nice dig by Hazelton, the libero. Jones hits it back over, then right back over to Danzy. And Jones gets the spike off of the block of Kreider. Hits it hard, does Olivia Jones. Good arm whip into the block. Kreider gets a good hand on it, but she's got to turn it in. It goes helplessly out of bounds. Point for the Vikings. Right now, three-point Crestview lead. Service over by Cup, Jaden Cup, and returned back over and successful by Haley McCoy. Yeah, Haley McCoy with the spike out of the middle hitter position. Changed direction on that. Everything was to the left side of the court, and she fanned that ball to the other side. Made it very, very tough on the Lipsick de defense. Comes away with the kill. Back to serve is Josie Kowicki. Service over. Dig by Danzi. And then the hit back over. Now coming back off the block is Figley. And now Crestview is just one point away from the district championship. And the Crestview fans are on their feet. Wanting to seal the deal in three, not giving Lipsick any chance. They'd like to finish things right here. Jones comes right back, nice dig, and tipped back over by Gregory. Jones with a set this time. Apple gets it blocked. Lipsick comes right back. Jones, again, dig this time by Klein, the libero, and this time it is, what they what are they call? I think it hit, it's out of bounds, and I think it may have hit the uh, antenna okay. as well as being out of bounds. So I was trying to watch the, yeah. the sideline official. Yep. Had a couple 
waves of the flag in different directions, but Lipson gets the point regardless. This one's a nice block inside by Jones. They're not going to go away quietly. Mm -mm. Coach Abdul's squad battling to the very, very end. Faced with an uphill battle, they've got to get three more at least to tie it at 24. Big lead back over, and that's going to do it. Nice diving attempt by Denicia Danzi, but the kill will be by Figley. So in each of the sets, Lipsick did better, 12, 17, and then 21. They did, and, and you got to give them kudos for that consistent effort. No negative nonverbals out there whatsoever. They battled the whole way. But this Crestview Lady Night squad, they went to state last year. They only lost one senior off of that team. A lot of experience. They have a goal to get there again, and they just won themselves a district championship. They get advanced to the Elida Regional now. Yeah, and then some of the key things I think that you would look at, Lip Sync really never gave up the entire night. Not a bit. No, that's a that's a staple for a coach dual team. Uh, he he challenges his girls. They work extremely hard tonight. Just a little more talent on the other side of the net overall. There are some great pieces to this Lip Sync squad, but Crestview again looking forward to the opportunity to put the gold district medal around their neck and fight for another day. Great season by Lipsick. They end the season at 21 and four overall. Uh, PCL co-champions, NWC runner up. Crestview, they're gonna continue to play, Jeff. Yeah, they're currently 23 and two and we'll move on to the Elida Regional to start at least the, the first round of the regional in as they call it, the Sweet 16. Sweet 16, always, always awesome to be able to play tournament um, action in any sport, any level, when you're indoors and you're at the Elida Fieldhouse. Just a great venue for high school sports. All right, Josie Kolwicki for Crestview with seven points. Adeline Figley with eight kills. But, of course, Callie Gregory with a total of 17 kills in uh, this uh, win. But also, Dancia, uh, Danacia Dancy, the sophomore, finished up with uh, eight kills, maybe a little bit more than that. But she had a great night for lip sync as well. And then Samantha Hazelton also had five service points in the matchup. And then also Olivia Jones, can't forget her, she had nine kills. So really it was a great effort for both Crestview and the uh, lip sync Vikings. When you get to this point, in the tournament, you're doing some good things. You absolutely are. The future's bright for Lipsick. You, you mentioned the Nancy and Danzy and Cameron Bruff, both sophomores. Coach Newell's gonna build around them to, to continue to uh, have this program get to this level and look to go further. And they've got to replace an Olivia Jones, obviously. She's a senior that's graduating. But again, they've got a lot to build around in Danzy and Bruff. Yeah, you're looking at, uh, I think, around four seniors for Lipsick. Then you only have two for Crestview. So these two programs are going to be solid for years to come. They are. And it, as you said, those two seniors uh, for Crestview, Callie Gregory and Maya Etzler, they have been cornerstones for the program. And they're going to continue to, again, build and try and keep their season alive at the Elida Regional. And we wish the best to the Lipsick seniors, uh, Samantha Hazelton. Also, Olivia Jones, Aaliyah Kirkendall, and Ava Henry. So again, our finals in uh, the three sets. Crestview wins three sets to none, winning 25-12, 25-17, 25-21. Special thanks to cameraman and Mr. Editor, uh, Jacob O'Neill. Uh, Dave Bowen, thanks very much. It's always a great time uh, to do volleyball with you. And like you've said before, you're my wingman, and you can be my wingman anytime, any day, anywhere. I appreciate it, Jeff. Always great working with you. And again, it's always great just being a part of high school sports and watching in this venue these young ladies play the sport the way it's supposed to be played, giving great effort. Congratulations to Lipsick on a great season. Good luck to Crestview as they continue to play in the tournament. All right, this is the district championship from Van Wert. And again, Crestview Lady Knights are champions 
of the district in 2023 here at Van Wert. For Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Oberholzer. Thanks for watching Ohio Championship Volleyball on WOSN.